Hello everyone, welcome to a new lesson in Fusion 360 and Eagle integration. Last time we created a 2D sketch for our enclosure, and in this time we will move to the 3D design of this enclosure. Click on Finish Sketch. This is the timeline where we can see each step you created for your design. You can return to this sketch by double click on it from here or from sketches folder. Let's show the PCB. One of the most frequent tool you will use in Fusion 360 is extrude. With this tool, we can add a depth to the sketch we created. You can also select extrude by clicking E from your keyboard. We want to create a base for this enclosure. So select all the sketch areas using the mouse left click. The operation should be new body and the value will be 3 mm to the upper side. The minus value for the direction only. Then click OK. You can see a new body created. I will rename it to bottom. Now we want to raise the holes column to hit the bottom side of the board so the board can sit on these columns and fix the board with the enclosure. Hide the body. Select extrude again and select the area of the holes and the holes offset. Show the body again, you can raise them using the mouse like this. The operation should be join. Or we can from extend type select to object and select the bottom side of the PCB. And the columns will hit the PCB exactly. This is what we want and click OK. Let's extrude the walls, hide the body and select Extrude tool and select the walls area. The operation will be Join, show the body we can raise it using the mouse. Or you can type the value. I will make it minus 15 and hit enter. We have an enclosure, but we can see some issues with the pin header and the USB connector. And the holes are not ready yet. 